All right, we are back for round one. Hen is light on land, but pretty good because we have the Arbor Elf uh, Sprawl combo. Now, if the opponent has a Rimvol, things could go wrong, <laughs> and might very well go wrong. Otherwise, otherwise that 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 should be quite good. That should be quite good. It's pretty powerful synergy between the two cards. Eh. Swam turn one is probably not a good news for us. Yeah. I mean, I have some very powerful cards, so they might take one of these cards, but I think it's very tempting for the opponent to just pick the Sprawl and hope we don't draw. That being said, you know, if I draw a couple lands, I can still cast my stuff, and again, Opposition, Garruk, Simlacrum, that's that's quite threatening. The hand I kept was risky, but I think was a keep. Now, turn one Thoughtseize makes it much less, uh, potentially less good, like, but... I'm not sure if they can afford to take Sprawl. I think it's the right call, but it's risky. It's risky. The opponent went for a safer road, which I can definitely, which you know, I can, I can understand. That's pretty good for us, though, because um, we can drop Simlacrum and. Next turn, Opposition or Tamio. We can combine Opposition with Tamio to really try to deny as much um, mana as possible from the open. And I, I don't. I'm not sure. I agree with picking Garuk though, because either you pick the the piece of um, acceleration. I think it's fine. Or I think you otherwise you pick Opposition because Opposition is such a threat. I don't know. Maybe it's me. Lumbering Folds. So unfortunately, this doesn't let us play around Mana Leak, and my opponent is playing blue. The thing is, if, if I resolve Opposition here, I think I just can't really lose anymore, because then Tamio is bound to resolve, and then I will get to get rid of three lands for something like the next... I mean, for all the beginning of the game, I don't know. Tamio is also quite powerful, so baiting a counter spell with Tamio doesn't make a ton of sense, I think. I would have been happy if I had drawn an untapped land because this would let us play around Mana League, but I think we'll just go for the opposition right there and see what happens. Okay, it resolved. Cool. So now we can put the nice stop on the opponent's upkeep. I think I'll tap a blue because um, I want to be able to uh, play my Tamio without them using a counter spell. Impulse, okay. Fine. Lumbering Falls is nice. We can animate that and tap something if we need to. Resolving opposition on turn. F what is it? Oh, my opponent. What happened? Oh, I, I ramp with the Simlacrum, yeah. So it's turn. Actually, it's turn three, yeah. Resolving opposition on turn three and being able to tap something already is, is just really nice. That card is. That card is gas. I think it's a little bit too powerful for the Legacy Cube, but. Okay, that I don't care about. Um, fine. I think I just want to pressure the opponent's mana base, and I don't think I really care a ton about the walker. Uh, yeah. If they want to attack Tamio for one, it be what it be. It be what it be. If this grows big enough where I start to care about, I might just tap it or use Tamio to tap it. But right now, it's like it's pretty, pretty much. I don't, I don't care about the Walker. They might just use the mana to make it grow here because I, I doubt you know d dealing one to, to Tamio is gonna do anything. At least I don't... Th I mean, they'd rather make it a 2-2 and then they can actually pressure Tamio, but if they just deal one each turn, it's like... It's it's nothing. 
Bloom Tender, okay. <clears throat> so I guess we'll tap that. They will grow their walker in response. Yep. And we'll continue to tap stuff. And since we have lumb lumbering falls, like I, I would need to miss, uh, you know, just draw a bunch of lands for quite a lot of turn before my opponent can actually have enough mana to get out of this, um, this, you know, this, this opposition. I think I'm gonna start protecting Tamio because at some point I can just ultimate and Tamio's ultimate is strong if I remember correctly. It's better if you have counter spells if I remember correctly, but it's still pretty good even without that. Uh, yeah, and I think we'll probably tap Walker. Oh, nice, cool. So now I can just tap the remaining land. Otherwise I would have kept the elf to tap the walker, pretty sure. Opposition is not a very fun card to play against. I think my opponent would have been in a much better spot if uh, if they had taken Garuk. I don't really get why they, they played this way. It seems kind of weird to me. I will keep fold to tap something over dealing three damage. I think we we are closely getting to the ultimate, and I mean we we will soon be able to ultimate, and that seems just better than. So I can I can tap four things. So they will have one mana because I have to tap Walker most likely. Okay. <clears throat> Cancel. So tap this using that, right? All right, we got there. Yep, you got that. Actually, I should probably be tapping the walker with Tamiya so it, this way it doesn't grow bigger. Yeah, I think this makes sense. Gaff, I, I give the opportunity for my opponent to kill something instant speed if they have more black mana, but either way they would have had at least two black mana there, so... I'm tapping black first because I think it's more important because I don't, don't really want to get uh, Damnation or uh, Toxic Deluge or anything along these lines. I guess if uh, if the opponent has you know land, I mean swamp or any black mana toxic deluge for four, I mean quite a lot of trouble. All man of the sea uh, can be dealt with using Tamio. Hopefully, I stop drawing land though at some point. We'll just shut down one color since we cannot really get older mana. Well, they okay. They took some mana here. Mm-hmm. 
I'd be happy if my opponent just draws the walker and I don't have to... And this way I can tap a land. And not, you know, not use the falls to tap the, the walker. I think I've been drawing three lands in a row. And again, as I mentioned earlier on, the, uh, one of the only way my opponent could come back in this game is... Um, Uh, me drawing a couple lands in a row in them having, you know, a bunch of lands. And this is basically what's happening right now, so, you know, this game is, is, is far from being over. And I wonder if I should not try to grow, draw with Tamiyo over, ooh, upheaval. Alright, alright, <laughs> that makes things different. Um, so what we want to do is tap as much mana as we can so we are sure we don't get countered. So the plan is use Tamio to tap this. Looks like they F6. That being said I don't really want to have them having mana leak or something along these lines, so well, they did not take the mana so we don't even have to go in our next phase. We can just do that and tap. Okay. Uh, I probably want to make my land drop here. Over. I guess I should have probably ultimated Tamio instead of. I don't think it matters a ton though. I kind of doubt it matters a ton. Okay. Now we can drop that. Sprawl the forest. I'm pretty sure it's the best play we can make. We have seven mana available, so well, that's quite a lot of options. I think I wanna eh, probably Tamio and Bloom Tender. Yeah. Pretty sure this is the best we can do. I guess she's gonna tap herself. It doesn't really matter if she's tapped. And now we have pretty huge advantage, obviously. <laughs> Opposition and Abyssal are both so busted. This is <laughs> this is nonsense. Like I have respect for my opponent for you know continuing to play the game. This is just this is this this has not been very fun for them. I would assume tapping this. Um, I think I should have. I, I think I could have just ultimated instead of trying to play around counter spells. Oh well. I don't think we need to uh, opposition quite yet. I'm just gonna drop that. Yes, I don't think there are m that many l l lands left in my library, by the way. And yeah, we did not play a land. So I should be drawing gas pretty soon, hopefully. <coughs> because this is 3, 5, 8, 10. And there's still a couple lands, I guess. Search for tomorrow. Let's tap that, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just hard cast opposition. I kind of want to search now, so I. Yeah, I guess I can just. Yeah, I'm going to search now just so I get a land out of my library as soon as possible. And I can attack with Solemn and tap the Swamp Upkeep. <laughs> These games have... N I mean, it's funny. I, I like I like to do that. It's just like, it's not super fair and I would be mad if I was my opponent. I would have conceded if I, if I was my opponent. My opponent is, is very brave. <laughs> definitely, definitely respect that. Snake, that's that's pretty good. Let's tap that. We'll attack with Simulacrum. Simulacrum, sorry, tap the two other lands. Might just be able to deal, f you know, 20 damage with Simulacrum. 
Uh, they took mana this time. If they try to cast something, I'm gonna... I'm gonna sneak it most likely, just so I get another creature, and I don't know what they would cast though. Maybe a Doomblade? Anticipate? Yeah, this is Doomblade. This is getting countered. <laughs> Fertile ground. Alright, for the full amount of mana. <laughs> I'm playing 6 in lands though. Uh, so I'm pretty sure... Yeah, whatever. We wanna be attacking with this and one of the 2-2. Two -two. And tap 3 lands. Upkeep. And can we kill them next turn somehow? I think so. Yeah, this is just nine. Straight up nine. Alright. <laughs> it took a lot of time, but there was no turn where I didn't feel safe. <laughs> I think the open got to play Sotis, Impulse, and the Walker, and that's it. <laughs> And Doomblade, I guess, which got countered. Uh, I'm pretty again. I'm pretty sure if they had taken the opposition over Garruk, they would have been in a much better spot, depending on what they had in hand, obviously. So blue black control of some sort. I like to keep spell piercing there. The like they have Sorin Markov apparently, probably uh, some other costy non-creature spells. Should be good. Given what I saw. I don't think there's many things I want to change. Maybe Tron is pretty tough to deal with for black deck though. Unless they have Damnation or Toxic Deluge, it's 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 not something they want to see. I think I'm gonna cut Snake actually because they saw the Snake, and Snake. Well, Snake is any counter is slightly worse than the draw in Limited at least. Even in, I mean, you would not side out your counter spell, f you know, from a you know a blue white control deck in cube obviously, but. In deck like that, I, I don't really want a snake as much as I do on the play, I think. And Tren is, is really good. Now, it might it might be that there's another creature that's even weaker than snake. Manowar, not amazing. Works pretty well against Old Man of the Sea or the Walker, potentially, though. So I don't mind that. The fact that they saw the snake makes it weaker, too. I think I'm gonna just go with that. Not sure if it's right. I don't know. Expensive instant spell that are that you can play around lose quite a bit of value when your opponent knows about them. Um, now, obviously, you would not side out something like Cryptic Command in you know in the right deck, but here I think it's fine. I don't know. All right, Sen is decent. I will probably. <clears throat> well, I don't know. No, I'm. I was thinking about leading with Arbor Elf and then be able to hard cast search. Um but in case they have the Doomblade or any two mana re two mana removal it's worst because then um then I don't I have to suspend the thing one turn later and then I don't have the turn three Garruk. Uh so I think this is it's slightly potentially slightly less powerful to do this the way I did but it's more it's safer. Because unless they have a counter spell, they cannot interact with um, the search. And now, if they want to do blame my elf, they can. I mean, it's not going to really change a ton of things since I'm still probably casting a four drop next turn into a five drop. Into track, well, okay, that's fine. Well, they hit the Garuk, but since I keep the elf, I can still drop a planeswalker here. Uh, I'm happy they did not hit, you know, if had they hit two Planeswalker, it would have been pretty bad, I think. One land, one Planeswalker is, you know, about what was expected, I guess. Mm. Probably just want to forest there. Kyora. Uh, okay. I feel like I should be dropping Tamil, most likely, and tapping the Delver. This this way she protects herself and this protects 
this protects uh, the next planeswalker I might want to play too. So that sounds reasonable. I mean, I don't think my opponent is extremely likely to flip that, but if they do have the luck of flipping it, I'd rather not let my planeswalker take three. And they flipped, and they got a Doom Blade. All right. At least if they kill the elf, we can still drop the Kyora. So we'll have a play next turn, no matter what. Into Turak is, is is potentially better, like especially when you are playing a ram deck. You know, if they, you know, if they randomly hit your one, two of your finisher and. Uh, What was I trying to say? Yeah, if they hit two of your finishers and... Good god, I have hard time speaking. Uh, yeah, if they hit two of your finishers and, and what? What was the... the, the and, and you just ramp and then you have nothing left. It's just so bad. <laughs> um, either way, uh, we'll tap the Aberration. I don't know if they have a counter spell. I, don't, I cannot really play around the counter spell anyways. So I'm just gonna... Do that and try to play uh, both Planeswalker if they don't have anything. Like Looks like my open F6, so we'll get to play both. And I think I can just use Cura. Okay, um, I have the three of them, okay, cool. Two, it's been a long time since I haven't played Cura, but... Yeah, we'll just make that enable to deal damage. We'll tap the Aberration, and now we have a sweet board of three planeswalkers, so we are not drawing card, but we should be generating a decent amount of value each turn. And I might just start beating down with uh, Nisa's 5-5, uh, five, five, I think. 5-5 five, five trample, right? 4-4 four, four trample, never mind. Okay. That's fine. Garuk. Some more Planeswalker value. Okay, so... I guess my board is gonna be good enough this turn that I might not need to use... Yeah, I think I can afford to actually... I think I should... <laughs> I have so many so many things, so many decisions. I think this is just gonna make... Uh, I'm pretty sure the play with this one is simple, it's just make a forest a 4-4, four, four, which will not attack, I don't think so. I think then we play Garruk, we make a 3-3, three, three, so we, we have three blockers. Kshora makes this enable to deal damage. Even if they have removal, I still have blockers. And we can tap some lands to apply pressure. Or I guess I could just tap the Grey Merchant and start to beat down. I think it's fine. I don't really have any reason to play super defensively here. I'm in a leading position and I can just afford to apply pressure, I think. Okay, so this doesn't deal damage and Garuk will just drop uh, a beast. Did I use all my Planeswalker? <laughs> yes, I did. I don't think I've had that many Planeswalker onto the battlefield at the same time in recent time. Probably it happens to me once in my magic life, but it was, uh, I think, a couple years ago if it happened. Four is a lot. Four is a lot. It's sweet, though. It's pretty sweet. Jace. My opponent is, is, is you know, one place, one place walker is no match. It's no match for my uh, four place walker board. It's like, yeah, it's just... I don't care. Doomblade on the beast so they can attack something. So my one could kill Garruk, which I don't love. So I might chum block here. They are attacking Kyora though. Will this ultimate? Yeah, the ultimate is quite strong. Maybe I should try to ultimate her. I guess if my one is attacking that, is it's because it feels like a, a big threat. Yeah, I guess. Okay. <laughs> I have so many things on the bat onto the battlefield that I don't even really care anymore about what they do. <laughs> uh, okay. So I guess. 
kind of want to leave some blockers back. I can, I will attack Jace with one forest. Yeah, I think I will rely on hitting my ultimatums over killing them with damage. Even though I could probably do both. So, this will not deal any damage. I don't even think them having mana is going to matter a ton, so I can just afford to tap a creature. And we'll drop another beast, I guess. And I used all of them. Okay. <laughs> I'm checking each time. I'm probably going to ultimate Kyora. 9-9. Nine, nine. Each end step should be tough to beat, right? For a blue-black control deck. <laughs> the combo. All the planeswalkers sitting there, protecting each, each other, generating value. Threads on my forest. Uh, okay, fine. I mean, if you have another reinvol, you can kill Garruk or make Kyora unable to ultimate, but... Mana War. <laughs> I can bounce my own forest back to my hand. I think we'll just cash this in. The Evans seem pretty frighten frightened about Kyora, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, let's make some Krakens. What could be wrong about that? Garruk will probably untap lands, so I don't lose it. I guess I can make another 4-4. Four, four. Probably want to bounce my own forest. I don't really care a ton about anything else. I can tap that. And beat down with forest. The best could, the beast could have attacked too, I guess. But if I attack with beast, they have a decent double block here, and they get a one-one. They will take a one-one anyways. Okay. Kraken, the Kraken is in the house. All right. That was a funny game. And more interactive. <laughs> the first one was just me shutting down my opponent like like a savage, and now I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm like, you can do whatever you want. I don't care. I have all these planes will occur. Dragon Lord Silumgar. Well, I'm happy I cashed in the Kyora. So I guess I can steal the Tamio and get the Tamio's emblem. They stole the Kraken. Weird. I, I don't feel like I care about that. I think that we should have maybe stealing Tamio and getting the ultimate would have been quite good, right? Am I not right? I don't know. They are attacking me. All right. Already. A solemn simulacrum. Dragonlord is good, though. <laughs> Um, okay, so this game is not over. I guess I will drop that. Yes, please, get a forest. And I cannot protect both Planeswalker because now they have two flyers. <laughs> um, I don't even know what, what ultimate she does. Okay, <laughs> some more four fours. Um, I guess Garruk is probably gonna die next turn because they can produce, they can attack with a flyer. So who cares? Uh, <laughs> what a weird game! I'm gonna tap the Silumgar, and I can. <laughs> I don't really want to attack into the Kraken. Not this turn, I don't think so. <laughs> this game is crazy. Like, it's, it's 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 me and my open doing a bunch of things and not really caring about what the other does. It's kind of funny. My open has a slight advantage here because they have flyers, though. So, you know, there is that. I guess this will kill Garruk. No. No fuck was given about the Garruk. Okay. 
there is that. So let's say I beat down with everything like a savage. So they need to chum block that because otherwise they die. So I guess gatekeeper chumps the kraken. Let's say Grey Marchant blocks a forest to have to dodge some trample damage, and Kraken eats another forest. Uh, then they still take eight because I have another forest. Thirteen, I mean twelve. Eighteen, and I can actually just tap the Kraken. I'm pretty sure it's game over. Unless you have an instant speed Wrath of God. It's gonna be tough here to not die. Alright. The beatdown. What do you say? What do you say, opponent? Is this good enough? Is this good enough? To me it looks good enough, but you are the only one with the answer, I guess. Let's say they have Doomblade, they kill Kraken, they still very much die. Yeah. <laughs> all the Krakens, all the Plantwalker. What a phenomenal game. <laughs> It, I, I think it's quite rare that you can just do a bunch of things without being, you know, without, without the opponent uh, being too, um, you know, with, without having the opponent trying to, um, to, uh, you know, to just deal with your things. Like, I was able to just jump, jump those planeswalkers and my opponent did not have any answers. It, it was kind of, kind of funny in that regard. I don't know, very often games of magic, at least in cube, is just, you know, you you drop something, they answer it, then they drop something, you answer it, and so on and so forth, until, I mean some game, not all games, obviously, until until you have a thread that finally, finally sticks to the battlefield, but here, I, like, I dropped everything and everything stayed pretty much, so it's really funny. Uh, yeah, that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Feel free to drop a like if you liked this video, and yeah, thanks for watching. See you for round two.